How's it going everyone? This is Abe's Card Collection back with another card opening Monday. It's spring training, one of the best times of the year. And so today I thought it would be fun to open up some 2020 Topps Chrome Update Series, along with some 2020 Topps Heritage High Number. And of course, because we're opening up some cards, we're going to go to our Junk Wax Air stack here, pull something off the top, and end up with what? 1990 Fleer. Woof. Checklist in this one is probably not that great, especially compared to previous years. I opened about 30 of these for the 2019 version last year. They were just very, very plentiful and pulled a ton of phenomenal cards out of them. So I know the checklist isn't that great this year, but you never know. You never know what rookie is going to break out. And then I don't think I've actually opened high number heritage. I opened a ton of uh, regular number heritage, I guess we call it. Um, so I'm excited to see this. Of course, if we strike out any great rookies or anything, autographs or crazy refractors, we're still going to be looking for TTM fuel. So spring training's here. I love sending uh, some out to spring training, some TTM requests. And I think we should go into this high number heritage first. Of course, uh, interesting, they wrapped around the sides. I guess you open up through here, not the top. Got three packs in here. But yeah, I really enjoy sending out some spring training TTM requests. Been pumping a, a handful out already. Um, some guys I think sign during spring training when they're they're less bogged down with the season. About Lance Thomas, Robert Duggar, Zach Davies, Jeff Hoffman. Let's play two Ernie Banks. Phenomenal shortstop. I had the privilege of meeting him at one point um, before he passed away. Phenomenal person. Uh, Montas, Todd Frazier with the Rangers. That just looks weird. And Willie Castro. I think he did okay last year. Rookie card. Maybe I'll send that one TTM. These uh, Heritage ones are perfect. And Chrome ones, not, not as perfect. But I've had some good luck lately um, prepping those cards. So I'm actually okay now with sending Chrome cards through the mail. Torrance, Chad Wallach, rookie. Wingenter, Kelvin Herrera, ooh, Jim Palmer, he pat, he uh, he signs through the mail, $10 donation. Not sure if he'll sign during the season because uh, he is the color commentator for Baltimore Orioles, so I don't think he'll be at that California address. Tinoco, I pulled his uh, autograph out of Topps Chrome earlier this year. Roman Quinn, Strecken Rider, Domingo Santana. Let's see what our third pack entails. One opened very easily. And Salerte, Marisnik, Kyle Farmer, Garcia, Rocco Baldelli, manager, former uh, Tampa Bay Double Rays, great. Castro, Namar Mazzara, really cool uh, glove there. <laughs> Dallas Cagle has going on. And John Bertie. So nothing great out of Heritage. Hopefully, one of these two, these, are they blaster boxes or monster boxes? I'm not sure what they call these. I think last year, or mega boxes, excuse me. They were called mega boxes last year. I don't see anything on here that says mega box, though, so. Let's rip into it. Of course, we got the wasted space. Hitting cameras. Get the box out of here. What do we have? Four cards per pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 28 cards total. I probably could have just read the box for you all. Not as good at doing the rundowns as everybody else is, but let's see what we have here. Hey, Starling Castro. I actually might send this one out. TTM, I am a Nats fan, so. Uh, Cody Stashak. Logan Morrison. And Tinoco. That's weird. That's the exact same rookie card, image, everything out of normal Topps Chrome this year. And like I said, I pulled his autograph out of Topps Chrome earlier. So, use the exact same uh, picture and everything it looks like. Ooh, we have a Kyle Lewis debut. Josh Taylor. Ooh, nice Eloy Jimenez. Decades nice. People are big on him this year. Brock Holt. And rookie debut of Kyle Lewis. Not really sure if this is a 
a great card or not, because it is a rookie debut, of course. I was fortunate enough to pull a handful of his uh, regular rookies out of Top Chrome, but still rookie of the year, so we're going to put that up there. For the 2019 version, uh, Fernando Tastis cards sell really good if you're uh, looking to open stuff and need to recoup some funds. But of course, those boxes are like 100 bucks now, as opposed to the 20 they were in store. David Price with the Dodgers looks weird. Hey, Mike Trout All-Star Game card. We'll put that over here to the side. And then Joey Votto All-Star Game card. Always, always good to pull a Mike Trout card. I think he's hands down the best player in baseball. And he's one of those transcendent players. Mickey Mantles, the Griffies, those guys. They only come around once every 30 years or so. Hank Aarons. Hey, there we go. Luis Robert. Rookie card, uh, rookie debut. This is a cool card from Sandy Koufax. He was a transcendent pitcher in his own right. And then Aquino, rookie card. Didn't really get much uh, playing time this year, but not a bad box. We pulled Kyle Lewis and Luis Robert. They're still rookies, even though they are rookie debut. Maybe we'll get lucky and pull Boba Shed as well. McCutcheon, Javi Baez, Nick Turley, rookie, and Cy Sneed. Other thing I noticed with these, uh, with the Mega Boxes in 2019, I don't know if it's still the same with 2020, but I pulled a ton of autographs out of them. Ooh, I was at this one. Homer and Derby 2006, Pittsburgh. Probably the most exciting thing I've been a part of live. Just super exciting. He hit, the, he hit like a walk-off home run to win it. And hit the there had these signs up that like said hit it here and then they'd fall down there'd be a seat number and somebody would win like a ton of money or a car or something and on the last home run to win the home run derby hit the sign out in right field really cool experience Raphael Devers Eric Mejia and Todd Frazier again with the Rangers still looks weird be cool I don't know if he signs TTM but I kind of want to get his autograph like we have Verdugo with the Red Sox. Oh, nice. I am a big Cowerkin fan. I'm sure this isn't really worth much, but this is a really cool pool. I'm going to put this one to the side for a second. I don't think I'll sleeve it or anything, but Zach Green, CJ Crone, and Verdugo with the Red Sox. This one will go in my Cowerkin binder right after this video. We're going to keep moving on. I knocked some on the floor. Not a big deal. We're going to go to box two. Get this plastic off. Look at how much space. I can stick my whole hand in here. Get that box out of here. Same deal, guys. Seven packs, four cards per pack. 28 total, and we hit a Randy, a Rosarena. Very cool. And Albert Pujols almost dropped in. Brennan Rogers and Wilmer Flores with the Giants. Pretty cool Randy, a Rosarena card. This one with the, the Rays, of course. Cover up Mr. Cal there. Looks like we're just missing Bo Bichette now. How about Johnny Davis, rookie, Ichiro. That's awesome. I also have a binder of his. Big fan of Ichiro, of course. Neil Walker. Anthony Rendon. Sucks he's on the Angels now. <laughs> Had a really good season last year, though. Hey, Zeus Aguilar. Had a pretty good season with the Marlins. Upside down. Ooh. This might go TTM. That would look really cool as Ryan Sandberg signing this. He, of course, signs for a $5 donation. That would be sick, though. How about Tommy Pham and Mike King? All right, Topps Chrome, we're doing okay with this. Doing quite okay. Alec Mills, Gerard Dyson, Cesar Hernandez, and Gavin Lux, rookie debut. 
I'm a little iffy on Gavin Lux right now. I know he... It's hard for, to crack that Dodgers lineup. But I really thought he was going to do a lot more this year. But short season. Give the guy a break. Uh, we're going to have to cover somebody up. Sorry, Mike Trout. We can still see your face, though, as you're sliding into home. How about... Ooh, Nico Horner, rookie debut. Nico Horner again, decade's best rookie. This guy and Pete Alonzo, nice little rookie cup from the Home Run Derby. I think he's due for a bounce back year. Brace Harper. Would have been cool if they would have done a, I'm sure they have it in here, but his Home Run Derby card in 2018. Mariano Rivera, Uanis Cespedes. Home Run Derby again, and this is a Home Run Derby pack, minus Mariano Rivera. Mark McGuire. Remember that one in Boston. What a great uh, All-Star weekend that was with Ted Williams coming out. And the Century team. Amazing. Last pack, guys. Then we'll get into that 1990 Fleer pack. How about Jacob DeGrom? Flip it around. Roberto Alomar. I can't remember. I think he actually just signed to be a coach somewhere. Maybe I'm misthinking, but I swear he signed to be a coach somewhere. Anyways, these cards look phenomenal and look great, TTM. I don't think Roberto Alomar would sign TTM, but never know. But Eric Thames went over, I believe, in Korea and just destroyed the ball and then came back for their, was it the Brewers and the Nationals and didn't do too well last year, unfortunately. How about uh, Tyler Henneman? Finish it off. All right, guys. This is what you're all here for, the 1990 Fleer. Wax pack. Who's our... What are we doing here? Okay. Ooh, we didn't get Bo Bichette, but we got Dante Bichette. Yeah, he was a masher back in the day, especially those Rockies. One of the, the, the first guys played with the Rockies. Wish he, I don't know if he signs through the mail. It would be cool if he did. Frank Tanana. He signs TTM. Bruce Hurst. Dave Henson, Kelly Mann, Ricky. Jose Gonzalez. Ooh, Dave Martinez. I'm going to send this one TTM for sure. He is, of course, the manager of the Washington Nationals. Uh, Mark Guzbeka. I obviously was not around when he was pitching, but I see a lot of people get him through the mail. So if you know this guy, he does sign TTM. Walt Terrell, Schlesinger, Lance Parrish, phenomenal catcher. I remember him from the Tigers. Tom Hinkie, and an Angels sticker, I think. Anyways, that's what we had, guys. Three nice rookies. Gavin Lux added into there, so I guess you could say four, but they are all rookie. Ooh, no, the Rosarena is not a rookie debut, actually. It's just, I think, his uh, his first Chrome uh, with the Rays rookie card. I don't know. What do you guys think of Rosarena? He, of course, just came onto the scene in the playoffs at, what, 14 home runs. Absolutely amazing in the playoffs. But he was still pretty good during the regular season. Just weird to think he was kind of a throw-in in that Jose Martinez, uh, Matthew Libertore deal between the Cardinals and the, the Tampa Bay Rays last year. Kind of saw seen as a fourth outfielder. And got into the lineup and actually just started smashing fastballs. Some people say he really can't hit breaking balls. He's a 25-year-old prospect rookie. He's still on those prospect lists because he's actually eligible for the rookie of the year this year. <laughs> Imagine that after the postseason he had. But I don't know. I'm kind of a, a believer in guys like him. He did come over, I believe, from Cuba a little later. He came from Cuba 2016. Sometimes it takes guys, you know, a few years coming stateside to figure things out. And maybe he did. And maybe he's just going to be an absolute beast and everybody's over under overlooking him. Excuse me. So I actually have a lot of his regular Topps Chrome ones. Sepia, Pink Refractor, stuff like that. All stuff I pulled, of course. But I think he's going to be a good player. I know some people are kind of doubting him this year. But without further ado, love that spring training is back. Love opening baseball product. Love that there is product now to open. It's great that there's finally some retail around. 
And I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you all tomorrow for Through the Mail Tuesday. Got some returns back this week, so fun to see who they are. But take care, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all being safe. And I hope to see you all tomorrow. And finally, I hope you all have a fantastic week. Thanks. Bye.